How's it going, everybody? Wanted to bring you to another edition of Money Talk. So glad you joined me today. I want to give you another uh, great example of how God is so concerned about givers. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the tithe that honors God's position. I talked to you last time on Money Talk about how a gift demonstrates honor. Well, I want to talk about the tithe. The tithe honors God's position. And uh, respect with an attitude, express love with words. But to express honor requires giving a gift. We talked about that last time. So I want to talk to you today. In the kingdom, honor is not honor unless it's accomplished with a gift. I expressed to you that last time. But I want to talk to you today about how God's tithe honor God's position. Our tithe honors God's position. So it's simple. When I return the tithe to the God, it honors His position. It demonstrates that He is the high priest over my life. It demonstrates that He is God. It has nothing to do with money and everything to do with God's position and trust. I bring Him the tenth to show that, am I tr that I trust Him, that He's God over every part of my life. Returning minimum of 10% of the income to the storehouse. It, it, this is the local church, the place where I received uh, spiritual nourishment. That's where we we'll return the tithe to. That's the one place we bring it to, to show the Lord, this is the place that I'm getting fed. I want to bring it to the storehouse. You can't de designate tithe for missions and uh, all kinds of different things. Faith goes to the storehouse. Now, when we return the tithe to God, uh, it's really important that you understand that this is a New Testament principle. It's not an Old Testament. It's an Old Testament one, but it's also a New Testament principle. A lot of people say, well, this is just the Old Testament it's not really here. It's not really there. This is a New Testament law. I want to show you this. Genesis 14, uh, uh, verses 18 through 20. Melchizedek, the king of Salem, brought the bread and wine. He was a priest of God, the Most High. And he blessed Abraham, saying, Blessed be Abraham by God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, and blessed be God Most High, who delivered your enemies into your hand. Then Abraham gave him the tenth of everything. Now we see this in the book of Hebrews. So you, it transfers over there. So this is a New Testament principle. I want to create a picture for you. Abraham just returned from winning a great battle. This guy Melchizedek appeared. All of a sudden he shows up. Now, if you, if you do some Old Testament teaching, Melchizedek is a picture of Jesus. He's the priest, the God, the Most High. He served Abraham bread and wine. Melchizedek, he's, he's there, he's doing things. And all of a sudden, his name means the king of righteousness, the king of peace. Listen, Abraham's getting a picture of who he was here. And all of a sudden, Abraham returns the tithe. Why? To honor the position of God. That's why we tithe. To honor the very position that God. Melchizedek brought him the bread and the wine. We know what that represents. The word of God and the spirit of God. And then what did Abraham do? Abraham turns right around and then blesses Ab uh, Melchizedek with the tithe. Why? Because he honored his position. I want you to do a few things. When you return the tithe back to God, remember you're doing this. I honor you as I honor God. I recognize that you are God and I am man. I declare your Lord and I am your servant. That's what you're doing when you're tithing to the Lord. I acknowledge you that you're greater and that I'm lesser. That's what tithe is. Tithe is showing who God is and who we are not. We're putting everything in our hands that we have worked for. We put the tenth back into God's hands and we're saying, Lord, we trust you to bless our lives because you are the blesser of everything. Man, doesn't that make you excited? When you put that tenth back into God's hands, he turns around and then takes your 90. He makes your gas go further. He makes your groceries last longer. He makes your tires on your car last twice as long as anyone else. Whatever you do, bring the tithe back into the storehouse and you can trust the Lord with your tenth. Join with me today as we say a prayer together. It's exciting when we raise tithers out of the kingdom of God. Learn this phrase. He is large. He's in charge. I bring him my tenth. I acknowledge that I need his blessing. He blesses me and provides for me. That's what we do when we tithe. Say this prayer with me today. Dear God, I come to you today. I'm returning the tithe because it's my desire to honor you and to acknowledge who you are. You are God. 
You're the high priest over my life. I recognize that I desperately need your authority, blessing, provision, and your favor. Thank you again for giving me wisdom and counsel from your word concerning kingdom economics. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I'm so glad you joined me again today for another day of Money Talk. Until next time, enjoy your coffee, enjoy the word. I'll see you then.